What do you think you're doing? Shut up that damn noise! Rock and roll, baby! Freedom of speech! <laughs> that guy rules! They can't believe we made it. We graduated high school. How totally amazing. I can't help but feel I had some small part in how you turned out. <sighs> My name is Alan, and I'll be your waiter this afternoon. Can we call you Weird Al? I'd imagine so. Cut. <laughs> My wife was reading Ghost World. She was a big fan of it. She said, oh, you should really read this. this. This would make a great film. Terry Zweigoff was the director of the documentary Crumb, which won all the awards that documentaries can win. And after that, he was told by everybody that the one thing you don't want to do is make another film based on a comic book. And I read it and I liked it. I appreciated it as a comic book. What I also appreciated about it was how great Dan was with dialogue and character. He had created these two memorable characters. Oh, this is so bad, it's almost good. This is so bad, it's gone past good and back to bad again. After I first met Terry, uh, that contributed a big amount of why I wanted to do this part, because his sense of humor is so fantastic. Okay. That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, yeah. if, 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 if that's, yeah, mm -hmm. Ian and I sort of felt very similar dilemma to what she's going through in the film when I was her age. I still feel to some degree, she's an, you know, she's an outsider, she doesn't quite fit in. What? What? I have to go to summer school and take some stupid art class. Why? Mom, I didn't think that just because you get an F, you have to take the whole class over again. Loser. She's just just graduates high school and, and she knows all the things that she really doesn't like and who she doesn't want to be. You just hate every single guy in the face of the earth. That's not true. I just hate all these extroverted, pseudo-bohemian losers. You guys up for some reggae tonight? The only problem is she really does have no clue about what she does want to do and who she is, really. And she's constantly changing her appearance and trying different motifs and even testing out, in a subtle way, different personalities. Nice outfit. Who are you supposed to be, Cindy Lauper? Part of Enid's dilemma in the film is that she's an artist. She may not know it yet, but she keeps a sketchbook, sort of a crude diary that she keeps, and she's, she's very observant, and she's very sensitive and very smart and funny, and of course it's completely unappreciated by her art teacher, played by Ileana Douglas. It's supposed to be Don Knotts. <laughs> and what was your reason for choosing him as your subject? I don't know, I just... Like Don Knotts. Yeah, I definitely identify with the Enid character. I was probably like that in high school, you know, always wearing thrift shop clothing and not really fitting in with uh, the idea of high school and feeling kind of like an outsider. And then she drifts more towards adults because she's already a little grown up and a little sophisticated. We have to get together this summer. Yeah, that'll definitely happen. Thora looks, looks uncannily like the character in the in the comic book she's a terrific actress and she has this huge range of emotion that's very subtle thor and i have supposed to you know known each other for like 10 years it was kind of difficult at first to create that from nothing because i'd never met her before we sort of hung out in the beginning and we'd have thor and scarlet movie night how about this one? Get it. I'm sure it sucks. All these movies suck. Go out for food and just hang out to get, you know, comfortable with each other. They have strange rituals, I guess you could call them. Rebecca and Enid are always finding some interesting person to follow and exploit and embarrass. Do you remember me? Airport shuttle, June 7th. You, striking blonde with yellow dress. I was the bookish fellow in the green cardigan who helped you find your contact lens. Am I crazy, or did we have a moment? Oh, that's so pathetic. I mean, she probably didn't even notice him. I know, and he's like psychotically obsessing over every little detail. We should call him and pretend to be the blonde. Oh, we totally have to. Hi, <laughs> it's me. You're striking blonde. Of course I remember you. Let's get together for lunch sometime. God, that is obviously him. I play that guy. His name is Seymour. What's wrong with you? Oh my God! It's him. Anybody, 
He's insane. We should follow him home. Do you have any other old records besides these? Seymour does. Who does? Oh, uh, him. He's the man with the records. 